This display shows three types of cap lights used underground. The two lights on the left were used in the early days of mining. The light on the right is the type of hard hat and cap light used in underground mines today. The first helmet on the left is made of leather. The cap light is an old tallow lamp. The very tiny wick, as you can see, would produce only a faint flicker of light, barely enough to penetrate the endless darkness. The tallow used as the fuel for the flame was made from rendered animal products. The fat from the meat, bones and offal was melted and strained several times to produce the tallow, a very smelly process. Many of the older miners today can remember their fathers being scarred on both sides of the face from the hot tallow dripping from the lamp. The second light is a carbide light on an old Bakelite helmet. The Bakelite helmets were a great improvement on the leather helmets. Bakelite was the first plastic made from synthetic components and was marketed as heat resistant and shatterproof. The carbide lamp was fueled by carbide, a greyish metal formed by heating a mixture of lime and carbon. When heated, the lime is reduced by the carbon to a compound of calcium carbide and carbon monoxide. The carbide used in Collinsville could be bought at the local corner shop. A lump of carbide was placed in the lamp and water was added to it. When the water touched the carbide, acetylene gas was produced. The gas then passed through a filter, a gas tube and a tip where the gas was ignited. The light produced by the carbide lamp was soft, not penetrating the dark as well as an electric light, but providing a broad area of dimness. When I was a young fella, living with my grandmother, the only light we had in the house was a carbide light. It was my job in the morning to empty the water from the lamp. When I came home from school, the lumps of carbide would be dry and could be used again that night. We'd pour in some fresh water and away you'd go again. The third light you see is the electric battery operated light. That is the only light I've used in my 26 years of underground mining. They still use it today as it gives off a really good light. The battery will last about 14 hours. At the end of the day, you put it on a charging rack and when you come to work in the morning, you're ready to go again.